this is your boy James over at Expecto Go bringing you guys the latest and greatest in this Unite content. And today we're here to talk about AR, particularly AR photography, one of my favorite features in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And I'm going to show you guys how to utilize it, uh, how to get the settings on. Um, ways to use AR photography aka uh, photo mode in Harry Potter Wizards Unite and some of my tips and tricks in regards to uh, when I take photography things I apply when doing so so um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun this will probably be the first of a couple of videos highlighting some of my favorite features in Harry Potter Wizards Unite since it is my birthday month and I wanted to have some fun videos this month for you guys so uh, that's what we're going to do today so sit back relax and yeah let's take some AR photos all right first you want to go into your settings and turn on AR to utilize it so go into your briefcase hit the settings um, gears in the top left and then scroll until you get the camera and you'll see AR and AR in combat. Now I have AR plus um, that will allow me to actually walk around the subjects, get close, get far, um, a lot more options. Some phones are not capable of doing so. Uh, make sure you check Everybody Wizards Unite website to uh, see if your phone is capable of AR plus. But nonetheless, everybody should have AR. So I'm gonna turn on AR plus and AR plus in combat. Now in combat, what that means is you'll be able to take AR photos um, with your oddities, adversaries, and even even your foes and wizarding challenges uh, those will be your combat foes so that's what it means by AR in combat so I turn those on I usually turn them off in wizarding challenges just to save on time but for this here I'm gonna turn it on all right so those are your settings you want to go through and uh, make sure you have them on all right so now that you guys know how to turn on AR for photo mode. I'm going to show you guys the different ways you can utilize the photo mode in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So the first one is going to be your encounters and that's going to be with your foundables, traces you see on your map as we have here and I'm going to click on one of them. Now I have AR already turned on because I turned it on in the settings but I'm going to show you guys how you can turn it on. So you got an encounter right here and you can go up in the top left and hit AR on. Once you've done that if you have AR plus you can look around and boom your foundable confoundable will pop up on your screen um, now if you don't have AR plus it'll just come up and boom you have the option of clicking the stars which will stop uh, start the glyph trace or if you click the camera icon under the flea icon in the top left that'll get you into photo mode where you can take clean photos and boom <laughs> there's my man shaking the ball all right so once you click the photos, you feel like, hey, this is a good photo, you have three options. One is to download into your phone, so you can save it and play with it a little bit. Uh, next one is to customize, it's just like your photo mode for your ministry ID. You can customize it, add frames, filters, even stickers. And then your share feature, this is going to be your online resources. You can share from here straight to your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of that jazz, all right? So those are going to be your three features that comes up. Um, now. With me utilizing photo mode with AR Plus, I can actually go close and walk around. So you guys can see, I have options of walking around, uh, getting close, getting low, getting over top of them, a lot of that with AR+. Plus. Your next one, once I get out of here, is going to be in your registry. And this is the one I have a lot more fun with because you have a lot more freedom. So if you go into your registry and click the camera icon in the top left, those are going to be showing the foundables you can take AR photos of and with a lot more freedom. I think I'm going to play with Luna, yes. All right, so you'll see here, she's right there, boom, Luna. So again, I can walk around in AR Plus, I can walk around her, get close, get far. Um, but if you didn't have AR Plus, you can still play with it, make her bigger to get the actual size right. Uh, move her around however you want to place her on the screen like there's a lot of options you can do with this which I have the most fun with I'm 
lot of options you can play with when it comes to this, which again, one of my favorite aspects. And you still get your three options once you've captured the photo, download, customize, and share. So the last one to utilize AR photo mode is going to be with your combats. Is that's going to be like your adversaries, your um, oddities out in the wild, and even your um, foes and wizarding challenges. So we have our first oddity up here, and you see turn on AR. So the thing is, with oddities and with adversaries, you have to click it fast. Because once that animation stops and it gets into combat mode, you can't turn on AR again. All right. Another little trick you have to do with AR photo mode with oddities, adversaries, and even the foes and wizarding challenges, you don't have the icon where you can hit the camera in the top left. You don't have that. So the only way to take photos of adversaries, oddities, and your foes and wizarding challenges is to actually screenshot. But I've been able to get stunning photos just utilizing screenshots. So um, I'm gonna do that right here. I'm gonna back up a little bit to get the tap off. And boom, so now I can screenshot once the words go away. And you guys can see my screenshot right there. Now it's going to have the words and stuff in the top, um, but you can always crop that and have a clean picture nonetheless. So that's a little trick to get pictures of adversaries, oddities, and even your foes in wizarding challenges. All right, so now that we know how to turn on AR in the settings and what features utilize AR photo mode, we're gonna show you guys some of my tips and tricks in regards to taking AR photos and how to um, make your AR photos pop. So we have here one of my least favorite foundables, the puking pastille. First thing is going to be shadows. That's a big thing you want to highlight. So when we turn on AR, go here, and boom. All right, so you can see the sunlight right behind it, but the shadow is not corresponding with the light that is reflecting. The shadow is actually behind it. So if you can align the shadows, that makes your AR photo seem more realistic and allows it to blend in the background. Next. If you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the blurry background, particularly in the top uh, quadrant of your phone, I don't know why, but in AR photo mode in Harry Potter Wizards Unite, it blurs the background. I think it's trying to create depth of field to give that blurred vision when you're looking at something. I don't know, but it has that. But if you guys want to work around it, sometimes I'll go upside down and have it so that way the sky is clear and the ground is blurry. So that way I can get it. it looks so much better when I flip it upside down. So that's usually one of my tricks when I do that when utilizing AR photo mode and trying to get a clearer picture when taking AR photos. Next, have your AR photo subject uh, blend in with its surroundings. Uh, the puking pastel just standing here in the middle of nowhere does nothing. So I'm gonna move around and see if I can find something that I can blend with. And I think I found something, hold on. I think that's a good photo. All right, so I got the photo. I think the theme matches with what is going on. Uh, you got two statues with mouths open, so I figured, hey, you got the puking pastel with the mouth open. I think it'll fit, and I think I nailed it. So, one of my final tips I have for you guys is to play around with the colors and contrast. Um, these photos are usually flat profiles and what I mean by flat profiles is um, usually dull with the colors and stuff to allow you to uplift it at least that's my interpretation of why the uh, photos are so flat so when I go in I utilize Adobe Suite and uh, particularly Adobe um, Lightroom so I'm gonna upload the photo that I just took we have it added so this is where I get kind of creative and I don't want to get too uh, fancy because I still want it to seem real. So first, I'm going to make sure I rotate this 
so it'll look good. Then I'm going to go into light and play around with contrast and exposure right quick. So usually with the contrast and stuff, I usually like to have it pop, not too much. Uh, exposure's down a little bit so it can highlight the colors, particularly the purple uh, or around it. Shadows, it just depends on the picture. Uh, you don't want it to be too dark and take away from the actual details in the photo. Um, whites, nah, I might leave it as is. Um, and blacks, again, don't want to take away from the actual photo. This is where the magic happens, particularly with the colors. Uh, you can play around with the vibrance, uh, but you don't want it to be too much. Again, you want it to seem realistic. So vibrance is a little bit up and saturation all up it. But then I can go into certain colors and have that pop. So I'll hit the colorful purple, have that pop a little bit. Again, we want the pictures to look normal. So you don't want it to look too oversaturated or too poppy. So actually lower it down. And there it is. Boom. <laughs> There's a photo. But yo, that is going to be it. That is going to be it in regards to how to take AR photos in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Uh, some of my tips and tricks. Um, I can do a longer video, honestly, in regards to just the thought process that goes into uh, some of my photos. I plan uh, a couple of days ahead. Um, I usually try to come out during the golden hour when the sun is about to go down and stuff so I can get the harsh shadows so uh, it can look more real. Um, and then my editing process in regards to Lightroom is even longer. So um, I can, if you guys wanna see something like that, me just going around the city taking AR photos and um, editing them and showing you guys the final product, comment below, let me know. Yo, let's talk some Harry Potter with this unite. But yo, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was fun. This it's been a minute since I've been out and about taking AR photos like this. So uh, this was fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop that like. All of it helps. Also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe too. Expect to go here. You get all the latest and greatest with this night content, gameplay tips, news, updates, the whole nine. So, uh, yo, hit that notification bell after you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything also follow us on the various forms of social media instagram twitter facebook and discord uh there you'll be hanging out with fellow witches and wizards we have our giveaways so make sure you're following us there so you guys know when the giveaways are happening and you guys can tag us um if you're participating so yo have fun and uh yo put these tips to use but yo thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video until next time